it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returned, thank you very much for coming back. I have an exciting video today and I have waited and waited to do this video. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am that I got a package in and it is from Samantha Ravindahl's new line, the Auric brand. So I thought we would test that out today. I got one of the eye um, shadows, and I got one of the glow lusts. So, first off, um, can we talk about how gorgeous this packaging is? I mean, um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep the boxes on this. You're probably going to see this in my background. Right back there with my Pat McGrath, my Chanel, and my Victor and Rolf uh, boxes. I have a thing for my beautiful boxes. I have to keep them. So these will probably feature a home right back there. So um, just to talk a little bit about this, this is um, Samantha Ravindahl's brand. She is a YouTuber. She's been on YouTube for a, a long time. She's Canadian uh, based and um, she just came out with her makeup brand and it is called Auric. I hope that I am pronouncing that correctly. And she came out with, first of all, the Glow Lust. And, oh, uh, let me tell you. The box is beautiful. But look at this bottle. It is so gorgeous. It is so luxe. So it's frosted glass. And then it has Auric at the top with that gold. And then it's got gold drips going down the sides. It's a pump. <clears throat> and it is just everything about it feels luxe. I got the shade Morganite, which I believe is the lightest shade. Then she came out with the Smoke Reflect eyeshadows. So what you have is, oh, I just dropped everything, is you have a little pot here. On the top it says Auric. And when you unscrew it down here in the bottom in this pot, you have a moussey cream shadow which is a more of a matte texture and then at the top you pop the lid open and you got a little mirror and then you have your sparkle shade so there i think are three different colors on this let me pull up a little bit about um auric here because it is just it's so beautiful and the meaning behind it that she said um, in her video going over it was so beautiful and it, it's just it's to die I, I mean really let me get it pulled up <clears throat> I should have already had it pulled up but you know me so the brand on the Instagram is called glow by Oric and so you have in the glow uh, lust, which is this, it is a radiant luminizer, it says. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. Morganite is the lightest and it is currently sold out. But the way that these are ranged, you could, like I could probably use the first two shades very easily and I could probably work the third shade in if I needed to. So that's the way these work. So um, Goldstone is also sold out. So it looks like of the darker um, three, the uh, first shade in it is sold out and then of the lighter for the um, first one is sold out. So, it says on um, this Morganite, whenever you go to uh, read the details on it, it says, highlight, smooth, and hydrate for those who lust for luminosity. Packaged with ultra-fine pearl and a skin-loving mix of squalene, glycerin, and porcelain flower, this artistry-grade adjustable formula gives you instant radiance and hydration. It can be worn alone, blended with your favorite skincare, or used as a highlighter on top of foundation. There are seven flexible shades, 
and it is made in Italy. So, um, I think how I'm going to use this today is I'm going to um, put it on my face as a primer under my foundation, and then I will also use it as a highlight. So, as for this brand, um, it, it's just gorgeous. I, I don't know what else to tell you about it, really. So, and she says that there's an old saying, gold is where you find it which means that value is determined by each person individually to us. Gold is found, um, hold on, I had to, to us, gold is found when we lift each other up and work together. We believe in accepting, encouraging, and promoting all different versions of beauty, and that's how we grow and thrive, artistically and creatively. The official definition of auric is derived from gold, but based on our beliefs, auric really together really means golden together. And I love that. I love how she celebrates all facets of people. And, you know, because I am all about that. Beauty is found in everyone, all of us. It does not matter what color we are, what shape we are, what size we are. It doesn't matter. We are all beautiful, and there is all something special and unique in all of us. And if we all treat each other with kindness and uplift each other, that beauty just does nothing but flows out into the world. So I 100% I believe that. So on the eyeshadows, <clears throat> there are three colors. Um, Temper, which is the one I've got, the rose gold. You've got Defiance, which is a bronze. And then Ego, which is a smoky gray. Um, so far, Ego is the only one left. These are $39, and these are $45. Um, so on the Smoke Reflect, it says on the details, a smoke show in a jar. It says, heads will turn with these eye-catching shadow duos. Creamy, uh, Create creamy matte or metallic glitter looks with two luxe formulas in a single gorgeous package. Under the top lid is a light reflecting micro glitter eyeshadow infused with high shine pearls. And inside the glass is a smooth, long wear, creaseless cream shadow. So these are paraben free, cruelty free, gluten free, artistry grade, and these are made in the USA. So, that is a little bit about Auric and these products. And in this bottle, you get 1.18 fluid ounces. And she says that she worked hard on this pump. And there's a reason why the lid is so hard to take off. Because she over time, these loosen up and they'll just fall off. And she didn't want it to be that way with this. And she said that they worked really hard on the pump and got it a very expensive pump so that you could actually squirt out the amount that you want. So I'm going to try to work some product up here and do a little swatch for you. And you can. Okay, so this is Morganite right here. That's just such a pretty color. Doesn't really have any kind of a scent. So um, that, that's good. So if you have sensitivity to smells, you don't have to worry about that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on my face with my primer. And you have to please look over what my hair looks like. Uh, today is hair washing day and I have a mask in my hair so one of these days I'm going to do a video with my hair fixed for you guys it seems like I'm always wearing it up so I've got my mirror right here so if, that's why I'm looking that direction so today my primer that I'm using is milk makeup blur stick I've just got a mini here and I've just got about that much left and I'd like to try to use it up um, and I just rub it on my face like this anywhere that I want it to go this is a good primer um, from the times that I've used it. I have enjoyed it. I just don't really care for the stick application, but it, it is a good primer. 
Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to start out with a full pump on my finger. And I'm going to blend that in my fingers here. It feels kind of thick. So for me, I think about one and a half pumps to get my forehead and everything. Mm, I can see that glow. Do you all see that? I hope it's showing on camera. Oh, that limened my skin up. I love that. So, today's foundation that I'm going to use is by Pearlise, and it is a Perfect Glow BB Cream. It's got SPF of 30, and I am in shade medium. And I think I'm going to use a brush today. I'm just going to squirt some on the back of my hand. I hope this is not too dark. And the brush that I'm using is the Luxie uh, Small Precision 533. I love this brush for foundation. If this is a little bit dark, I can lighten it up with some concealer. <clears throat> it doesn't seem like it's too dark. I'm really into BB creams and CC creams right now. Just that soft foundation look. <clears throat> Squeeze a little bit more on the back of my hand. I was so excited when this package came in. I also today got my um, Kaleidos package, my Club Nebula um, palette. So there'll be a video using that coming up pretty soon too. I am so excited for that. There's just been a lot of great new releases come out here uh, in the recent weeks. And that always gets me excited. Okay. I'm just going to go over that with a dry beauty blender just to make sure that there is no lines from the brush. I should have wet this already but I didn't let me see if I can um, get this wet hold on one second I'm gonna go wet my sponge okay I'm back now I've got my sponge wet damp however you'd like to call it and that is what my face is looking like after applying that BB cream on top of the um, glow lust it still looks good. I can see um, the shine coming from beneath it. I love that. I love it. It's not out of control. It's just, just enough. So now I'm going to go in. Today I'm going to use my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Because this is rather a thick formula. I'm just going to pat that out. And bring that underneath my eye I like this concealer but it can be on the thick side but if you like shape tape I don't think that um, you would have a problem with this because it's no thicker than shape tape but if you don't like thicker um, concealers then this would not be your jam but it really conceals. It really brightened that up underneath there. I'm also going to go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Matchstick in the shade Honey and um, Cream Contour just a little bit. 
this shade might look a little off as I'm first putting it on but as I blend it in it will not look like that it goes in uh, and looks really good um, underneath my bronzer <clears throat> So, what did I do with my, there it is, okay, I'm going to take my favorite uh, cream bronzer brush, it's a Cala brush, and just start working that in. See how good that just blends in and puts a little color on the skin. I love it. And then go around the edges with my sponge just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to also go in with a little cream blush. And this is the Hush Cream Sheer Blush from AOA Studio in the color Merlot. And it's pretty dark. And I'm going to go in with an AOA high def brush. It's an F3. And I'm just going to stamp that in to the blush itself. And I'm going to stamp it out on the back of my hand and disperse that color. And just lightly tap on my cheeks and go up to match that um, contour. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Pick up more off the back of my hand. Go back into the pan a little bit. That is so pretty. Do just a little bit on the nose. And I know it looks rough now, but it won't look like that the whole time. Okay, and now I'm going to go in and set. I'm using my um, Becca um, Hydra Mist powder to set. What did I do with my sponge? I'm losing stuff at a rapid rate. And from what I'm hearing, um, powder does not affect that um, Auric product, the um, Glow Lust. From what I've been seeing, you can put this on top of powder and it's no problem. Okay. I love the way that powder feels. Feels that, that dampness. Okay, and I think the brow products that I'm going to use today is a brow powder from Amuse. This is also new to my collection. I got this on Shop Miss A. I love to try a lot of the products on Shop Miss A because it just, I find a lot of hidden gems on there. And so I find that I like to try a lot from that um, line. So I'm going to go in with this color right here because it's reddish. They had this under the brow um products but as i'm opening the package it had one of these eyeshadow things in it so i'm not really sure if it was meant to be an eyeshadow palette but it looks to be the perfect colors for a brow palette and it seems to be working rather well
the brush I'm using is AOA E144. And I'm just doing a rough fill in. Nothing too precise. So far, I seem to like it. I like that shade a lot. <clears throat> And I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of my Wonder Beauty um, Brow Gel. And I'll go in and add more afterwards. But I like those brows. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just going to dust any excess powder off. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of spray to get that powder down. And I'm using the Catrice Prime and Find Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Hmm. Guess what? I've lost something. Can you believe it? Not me. I either drop it or I lose it. One of the two. Okay, now I am ready to go in to my eyeshadow here. So I'm going to go in to the bottom and open it up. And I'm going to prime my eyes because I always do. And today I'm using the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just going to squirt some on my finger here, run them together, and pat them on my eyes, and do like I always do, and go in with my Beauty Blender and pat that from my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone. Okay. Now, I also am going to set that powder Not with that, I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm going to use my Revelation Bacon Blot Powder to set that. Okay. Now. So, I think I'm going to pick this up on this AOA High Def 103 brush. So I'm just going to go directly in the pot and dip this in and pick some product up and start working this on my eye. Hmm. It's very moosey, very easy to work with. It seems to be moving around um, really well when I when I want it to move. It's blending like a dream. I think this brush might be a little bit too big. So I'm going to go in with my She uh, Cream Brush and pick up just a little bit more. And work this more in the crease right here. Just building it up a little bit at a time. Okay. 
coming up just a little bit higher with it. I think that's pretty. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to pick up and go to the other eye. And I wonder... Oh, wow, when you touch it with your finger, it is very whipped. Very whipped. I just wondered how hard it would be to apply it with a finger. So for me, I think I like that way better. Putting it on initially with your finger and then going in and blending it with your brush. Need to turn that down just a little bit. There we go. I was afraid that was just washing out the color. <clears throat> I like that. So these are very unique um, in their moussey texture. I mean, very, very unique. I think I've got enough here to make a swatch. Oh, yeah. So right there is where I swatched that. Okay, so now I think as for this side, I'm just going to pick it up with my finger first and go in and see how that does. It's very densely packed and it doesn't seem to pick up a whole lot of product with your finger. So that's different. So let me try and pick it up with this Dew Color 08 flat shader brush and see if I can get any payoff with that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. I would like a little bit more payoff. Again, it's hard to pick up with the brush. If you can see, it's not really picking it up very well. Let me try a different type of brush. So this is the 05. It's more flat and um, packed together, densely packed. So let's see if it picks up any better. It's almost reminding me kind of like a like getting a hard pan or something. But it is picking it up better on that brush. Okay. I'm having to really work my brush in it and kind of like almost scrape a little bit of the product off and then go back and scoop it up with the brush. Um, uh, to be honest, I didn't quite think that I would have to work so hard to get the payoff, but 
at the same time it is beautiful and it's not flaking on my skin it's staying attached to wherever i put it on my eye so that's nice and i'm not getting too much so it's just giving me a wash of beautiful glimmer i love that so that's just a soft kind of one shadow and and done look so I like that. So now I'm going to try, without messing everything up, and pick up a little on a pencil brush here, just to run on my lower lash line. So I'm dipping it in the mousse part. I mean, I guess it's going on there. I'm having trouble really seeing the payoff. And I mean, it's not the formula, and it's it's not anything like that. I think I should have probably went with the bronze color um, because it would have been a lot more impactful. But that's okay. That's just that's just me. Um, but for a really pretty sparkly wash of an eye look, this is beautiful. It really is. Um, it's it's very pretty. So let me get some mascara going on here. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use the triple shot um, mascara from Ciate. And I expect this to be a uh, work in progress for anybody that hasn't used these before, of course, um, as it is with any new makeup that you get that you haven't used before, um, it's a learning curve. But it really did give a very gorgeous look with just one eyeshadow. These would be really good for um, when we can travel again. <laughs> um, so that you're not having to pack a lot of eyeshadow palettes or what have you. Um, you could actually start out in your crease with your bronzer if you wanted to lay down a crease color. And that would be um, really pretty. I always get quiet when I'm doing my mascara, I know. <clears throat> so there's my first mascara. You guys know I like to go in with two, so um, that one's not going to work. So I'm going to go in with my Pixie by Petra mascara as my rubber bristle wand. Okay. <clears throat> now let me finish up my face. I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And I think today I'm going to use my e.l.f. bronzer if I don't break it. <clears throat> so it just looks like this. And I'm going to go in with my bronzer brush if I can find it. 
<clears throat> and the brush I use for my bronzer is an Eco Tools. It looks like this. I know I need to wash my brushes. And I just swirl in between all of those in the center. It's so pretty. Do my forehead. Okay. And then I think for my blush i'm going to use um one from shop miss a i'm going to use this um lol blush it's got two different colors in it and i usually just mix them together and i'm going to use my f13 from aoa and i'm just going to go back and forth between the two And then I'm going to go over that with my beauty sponge and that bronzer. Okay, now I'm going to highlight going back in with the Auric um, Glow Lust. So I'm just going to squirt um, a little dollop on this time. And I'm going to take this foundation brush by Luxie. It's a 510, just a flat foundation brush. And I am going to get a little on the brush. Okay. And I'm just going to start patting on the tops of my cheeks. Oh, wow. Do you all see that? Man, it doesn't appear to be disturbing. The makeup underneath appears to be laying rather well. Oh, gosh. Guys, that is gorgeous. I mean, I knew it was going to be pretty, but dang. Look at that. Wow. Samantha really, really done that. That is gorgeous. So, I tell you, I'm going to also take this um, small shader brush that I used to pick up that glitter with earlier and I'm going to dip that also in the um, Glow Lust. And I'm going to pop that in the center. Or the corner of my eye, not the center of my eye. Oh, gosh. I'm also going to use this as a little brow bone highlight. Mm, I cannot tell y'all how impressed I am with this product. So now let me set my face. Mm. I am loving how this look is coming out, okay? My skin looks beautiful. I can still see that coming from underneath. And that, where I put it on top, oh my gosh. That looks gorgeous. Now let me go in with a little bit more brow gel and then put me a lip on. And then I'll come back and tell you what my final thoughts are.
my lip today. I'm going to be using ColourPop Lippy in the color uh, Good and Plenty. And then I'm just going to go over that with a lip gloss by Iconic London in the color Love Struck. I love this lip gloss. It's such a pretty nude. Mm, I love it. Okay, guys. So, now for my thoughts. I am in love. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I had to work a little bit with the eyeshadow. But again, I think that's just learning a new product and learning how to work it and uh, use it in its best capacity. I think I got a very beautiful, very shiny, one color and done eyeshadow look. I love it. I will be purchasing the other colors um, when they come back in stock. I love that. As for this glow lust, um, man, I am, I mean, look, the proof is on my face. Oh, I have been a long time lover of, um, let's see if I've got it in here. I may have already used it, but I love things like the MAC strobe cream. I love, um, One of my favorite products is the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion. And because I love the glow that it gives. And it's um, a little bit different of a color than that. But right here is the Auric. Right there. And right here is the L'Oreal. So as you can see, I mean, they're different products and they're different colors. But I love products like this. So... Um, I've used products similar, I guess. I've got the Hollywood Flawless Filter as well. But, man, this is different. I, I mean, none of those look like that. I mean, when you put them on top as a highlight, that... I don't know what else to say, but it's just... It's taken my breath away. That That is amazing, guys. Amazing. It's just unreal. I can't I can't stop looking at it. So I love it. I love it. I'm glad I got it. Um, I may try to purchase a couple of different colors, even though this one is perfect. I want to know what one of the darker ones would be like if you mixed it up, like with a cream bronzer. That would be really pretty because sometimes I like to have a more um, glowy bronzer, just, you know, just sometimes. So I know that I will be picking up more products. I recommend these 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, this is a little bit on the expensive side, but guys, this bottle will last you forever. I mean, it, it's, you know, and these are very luxurious products. So you are getting your money's worth. So you got to keep that in mind as well. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. I love these products. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked it and please come back for my next video. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It helps me so much. I'm trying to get my subscriber count up and um, please smash the like button if you haven't already. Share me with your friends. Pass me around. I don't care. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. Love you.